okay, so I was just re-watching the video, and boom, it hit me. Just a quick uh, revelation to me. Maybe it'll bless somebody uh, today. I pray in Jesus' name, but I knew that I had to um, share it right away because it was burning in my heart. That's the Holy Spirit. And I also um, know that the enemy will always try to steal what God has for us. So when God gives us a revelation, because he's a spiritual being and he can see uh, the demons, of course, in the background, because there's angels in the background protecting us from them at all times, um, unless we invite them to influence our life. Um, they can see when godly activity is happening through these angels and things like that and when you're reading the word of god they study your mannerisms and things like that see when you're getting excited about god things like that and they immediately start trying to shut it down and devise plans to invoke fear into you place a feeling of fear or anger or confusion or you know doubting your salvation wondering what if what you heard was from god you know all these different you know obsessing over the same thing over and over again uh, shame, feeling like you can't even... Come. There's so many different ways that he can come at the Christian. But he always comes with the same stuff. You know? If you pay attention. You start to analyze his tactics. It all comes from the same roots. And the biggest root of all being a lie. He's a liar. It all comes from lies. Everything that the devil does come from, comes from one word. Liar. In other words, he's not the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he is the word. Also, John 1.1, 1, 1, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, being Jesus Christ. So, if it says the word was God, is God, and then says the word became flesh, that has to be Jesus Christ. In other words, Jesus is God. Just the physical manifestation of the same God, Yahweh. He just operates in three different functions, three different entities, but it's the same God. And they are one in each other, just as Jesus said, the Father is in me and me in the Father. That's the revelation. So God literally gave himself up on the cross for our sins. Literally God. Otherwise, because thousands of other men and women were crucified, okay? Maybe not women. I'm not absolutely sure about that because of the times and the culture. I'd have to check on that just being honest and vulnerable with you. But thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of other people were crucified. And if it wasn't God sacrificing himself, then you wouldn't have forgiveness of sins. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? He said, it's good that you believe in me. It's good that you believe in God. Excuse me. Believe also in me. These little hidden spiritual indirect messages hinting at the fact that he is God. For those who have eyes to see and ears to hear this message, I know this resonates with your spirit and it's probably hard to accept. For those of you that are not sure, but re-watch this video and understand that what you're feeling right now is confirmation from the Holy Spirit, even if it's hard to accept in your flesh, I believe this video will set free a lot of people in the truth that Jesus is God and he died for your sins manifested physically for you and died for your sins that if you would believe in him that you would be saved that you would have the faith that he has forgiven you of your sins and in response someone who has truly accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and has a touching of the heart naturally wants to follow him. So then follow him, stay in his word, pray and stay in connection, have a relationship with him, a love connection for what he did for you because he was tortured and beaten to the point where he was unrecognizable as a man, the scripture says. It's 
So naturally, out of love, we want to obey. Ministry is love service. It's just a love response. It's not legalism. But there's nothing we can do to earn his love. Somebody recently ministered that into me. That word wasn't of myself. That last sentence, someone passed that on to me. And this is what discipleship is. Somebody discipled me, and now I passed it on. You're just sharing what you've learned and your experiences with God. That is discipleship. Encouragement. That is discipleship, which is the gift of exhortation. That is discipleship. Motivating in the Word of God, speaking the Word of God out into the atmosphere wherever you go, amongst unbelievers, amongst believers alike. This is edification of the world. This is why we are the salt of the earth that preserves it if we are staying in humility and speaking the word of God out loud in the name of Jesus in public. That is literally preserving the nations and the Holy Spirit goes out forth ha, from his servant Justin's mouth ha, and says, Bride of Christ, I love you. Go forth as the salt of the earth ha, as I raise you up. Ha, in Jesus' name, you are all part of the five-fold ministry. Those of you who love me, and I need you to start seeking me in Jesus' name to find out where I want you specifically in the five-fold. Huh? A lot of you I will have in multiple or in all of them, says the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. But I need you to seek me. Huh? For I love you and I want a deeper connection with you and I want to break off all the shackles of bondage in this season huh, from you. Huh. I came to give you life and life in abundance and the devil comes only to steal, to kill and destroy you. But I will protect those who cleave unto me in faith and love me. Blessed are they that trust in me, says the Lord. And now go forth, children of God, I exhort you. And do the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do the work of an evangelist. And simply be willing to share his name and how God and his son Jesus Christ, even being God in physical form, but father and son titles just describe the relationship of love between the Godhead in Jesus' mighty name. For he is the son of man, born of humans as well, being God, but also man in a duality, just as the father and the son are in duality, even in three persons, the father, son, and the spirit in Jesus' name three and one and one and three they operate in each other in their functions just as water is water when it is liquid or it is ice or it is steam it is water with different titles but water this is the mystery of the Trinity and the oneness of God. In the simplest terms that the Spirit of God has given me. That which I understand and believe. As the Spirit has shown me these things. And the Spirit speaks out. And I will not quench him. I will speak forth what he has put on my heart and allow him to flow. He just wants us to be open to his power, to the nine gifts of the Spirit, and he will start to pour into us when we seek him and ask for them. He will pour into us if we ask in sincerity and humility and for the right reason to glorify his name. love you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ go forth and fear not be willing to speak what God has done for you in your life to the public and to speak the name of Jesus be encouraged and blessed in Jesus holy name amen